we have a, a guy in, in uh, our soir that he can uh, inhale okay I can't do it and I don't want to do it I can do this with my modal voice more resonant you think it, it is impossible you should stay all you guys uh, who inhale next to a true octavist with proper resonators and try to sing along him for about an hour or, or two <laughs> you will die in the, fir in the first five minutes believe me so this guys this guy in uh, our soir one day after practice he he do that it was very impressive believe me <laughs> yes it, it is very impressive the inhale notes they are cracky and they sound um, they sound deep they don't have the bassy effect of course of a true basso profundo everybody who says that doesn't have a clue how a real basso profundo feels like in the real world not in the smartphone world you should hear one in person and uh, of course you should ask him what he feels about me okay so that day he might produce a quadra note maybe but he was able to do it to do this only for some seconds he couldn't do it in the whole practice whenever it's needed all the time that means real basso profundo or using techniques but the techniques are uh, too difficult too difficult to produce all the time so that's why I suggest that you firstly train your voice reach the deeper model you can strengthen the muscles down there and when you reach the point that you can go even further then you should use any techniques you want but first reach your modal lowest modal okay and after you do this train in the proper way of course whatever else you want this is the only way to find your true voice otherwise your voice uh, will stay in a hypnosis uh, lazy you know because if it is easy for, for your vocal folds to go to the fry area or uh, subharmonics area or, or whatever you're using it will never try the modal area because it's easier to go with a technique but believe me it is not the same okay it is not the same I am going to, litur to liturgies and uh, I do the contrabass saison or we say 
uh, I mean, this stuff. So, when we start the liturgy, everybody is, of course, the bass, the tonal bass is lower in the beginning. And we are quiet. And as the, the, the time passes, the resonance is, of course, bigger after an hour or so. And I'm doing this, what you hear now, <laughs> for three hours straight, man. <laughs> so, if someone doesn't have this with his modal voice, his voice after 15, 20 minutes tops, I don't know. Uh, fades out, man. You can do this for three hours and have perfect tonal quality, okay? Not just producing sounds or low hertz. Always keep in mind that the tonal quality, guys. Without it, it's just a, it's just a buzzy noise, nothing else. This is all uh, from my experience, okay? Someone else might have some other experience that he should demonstrate. Uh, so, I'm doing this in the liturgy about three hours. If I am with a soir, it, uh, it is about one hour. One hour and thirty minutes tops. So you, your goal must be whatever I'm doing. I can do it when it when it matters the most, and to have the stamina to do it to as long as it required. So now I confess this, I am not a professional. Let's say that this is a talent from nature, okay, let's say this. And I have reached the point that uh, I can use it in the way you hear it now, okay. A professional can do it in front of people. A big audience. He can do it. He can do it with his whole repertoire. If he has to sing 10 songs in a row, 20 songs, 30 songs, his voice will be like this when it matters. He have studied from, it, from his uh, young age. And if someone now is 50, 60, imagine all the experience at the voice training of all these 30 years, 40 years. Imagine Zlatopolsky I think he was, his son was like this. Maybe even Bistir, who knows. Okay. Imagine that he trains himself before twenties, till the, till the age he died, 67. He was a monster. But he learned from the best in Russia. He was with the best, the best swars. He has the he had the best conductors. He he used his voice, his modal voice, in the proper manner. Of course, genetics helped him. Proper resonators proper construction 
but he was a professional. Glenn Miller in America, same thing. Very nice voice, big voice, strong voice. He is a professional. An amateur can't reach them. Even if it is lower, maybe resonant, who knows, but you can't reach the professionals. If you want to reach them or surpass them, you must be a professional too and have better genetics, maybe. Who knows? Every person must, must search what he is capable of. So I am urging all you young guys, first, search what you are capable of do.